another traveller. From where? Wait, let me guess. Hmm. From Temeria. Had it at the tip of my tongue. So, what brings you to Bergen? Wait, I know. Business. Just what I thought. And you're... A witcher. Well, well. We don't often see witches here. Um, what do witches do anyway? We solve problems. Oh, I have a problem with my boyfriend. Did you find his entrails strewn on the porch and his head a few paces away? Because those are the kind of problems I solve. Damn it.
many more can there be? Failed, Geralt. That was not the best idea, Witcher. Dwarves are poor liars in general, and that's especially true of this one. You know everything you need to know? Yes. You need the weapon to lift the curse from Henselt and free the souls of the Fallen. My lady, I know you're at war with Henselt, but the curse threatens Vergen as well. It's a field of uncontrollable magic energy. No need to exert yourself. I know this. The sword shall be yours. Just like that? Yes. I'm glad to help and thank you on behalf of the Vergenis, the souls of whose loved ones will finally be granted the peace they have so long deserved. Milady. I am no lady. My name is Saskia. Saskia. I'll need some time to lift the curse, enough for you to fall back. The Scoia'tael and peasants can't hope to defeat a professional army in open battle. Withdraw deeper into Edern. You underestimate them. Looking to be another Elleryn? Do you want them to die with your name on their lips? You know that's what'll happen if there's a fight. The fighters will die quick deaths. But then Henselt's men will enter the town. They'll spare no one. They'll kill the men, rape the women, turn the beautiful ones into slaves, and torture the rest to death. I have seen conquered cities and know the risks. Why do you aid Henselt? Why do you risk your life to lift this curse? I have my own agenda. A certain seer foretold that in lifting the curse, I'd recover my memory. I'm certainly not Henselt's devoted follower. In that case, join my forces. I can't. I have certain obligations on the other side. Friends who remained in Henselt's camp. Friends I can't leave behind. I too have obligations that prevent me from fleeing or withdrawing. I cannot disappoint all those who place their trust in me. Go where you must and hope your obligations don't drive you to fight me. I'm no soldier, Saskia. You can be sure of that. Time will tell. Farewell, Witcher. And look after your friends. Henselt is a true rogue. See ya, you old prick! Don't let them kid when I do, and don't get killed. That goes for you too, Sultan. Farewell to you both. <clears throat> Saskia, I forgot one wee thing. Geralt wishes to meet with Jorvith. He's got dealings with the elf. I need the head of the spear used to finish off Sabrina as she uttered the curse. Jorvith had it when we ran into each other in Flotsam. 
He lost it playing dice. Scalen now has the spearhead. The young Burden is a gambler, an addict. And perhaps Bergen's top sharp. You should speak to him. Jorvith put that spearhead up as a bet? When it comes to getting folk to sit down to a game of poker, Scalen can be convincing. His pack is bulging with treasures. You'd be surprised. All won at dice. I won't need convincing. We'll see how he does against me. Farewell to you both. You play like a true sharp, almost like a cheat, but, true to my word, the spearhead's yours. Thanks, Scalen. I heard you have a few more interesting trinkets I could win off you. I could find something.
Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So I asked the Black Dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger, knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! We're too late! Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilfgaardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which... We know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there, I promise. 